there are mainly two types of access control lists, standard and extended. You can further classify these types into two subtypes, numbered and named. A standard access list can be either a numbered standard list or a named standard access list. Similarly, you can have a numbered extended access list or a named extended list. Beginning with iOS version 12.3, Cisco introduced a new feature to edit existing ACLs. This feature is called the Sequence Editing feature. You can further classify ACLs based on this feature. Let's discuss the properties, characteristics, and functions of ACL types and understand how each type differs from the others. Standard Access Lists Standard access lists are easy to configure. But they support limited options in entries. In a standard access list entry, you can use only the source address to define the criteria. Apart from the source address, you can't use any other option. Standard access lists work on an all or none formula. They will either allow or block all traffic from the source host. You cannot allow or deny only certain types of traffic from the source host. Since standard access lists work with all traffic originating from a host, they are applied closer to the destination. Extended access lists. Extended access lists are complex, but they support many options in entries. In an extended access list entry, you can use a source address, a destination address, protocol, traffic type, application, and port to define the criteria. Extended access lists allow you to target a specific type of traffic. You can allow a certain type of traffic while blocking the remaining traffic, or you can block a specific type of traffic while allowing the remaining traffic. Since extended access lists work with a specific type of traffic, they are applied closer to the source. Numbered and named ACLs. Routers support multiple ACLs. You can create as many ACLs as you want. To differentiate between ACLs, routers use a unique number and name for each ACL. You may consider these numbers or names as identification numbers or names. When creating an ACL, you must specify an identification number or name for the ACL. Since the router uses this number to identify the ACL, you cannot choose a random number for the ACL. You have to choose a number from a predefined range. Routers reserve the following number ranges for standard access lists and extended access lists. Numbers are a bit difficult to remember. They also do not provide any descriptive meaning. If you have multiple ACLs, it becomes very difficult to remember which ACL is doing what. To make ACLs management easier, routers also support names for ACLs. It means you can also use descriptive names for ACLs instead of predefined numbers. No matter whether you use a name or a number for the ACL, the ACL functions the same way. As far as functionality is concerned, named ACLs and numbered ACLs are the same. The main advantage of a named ACL over a numbered ACL is that a named ACL is easier to manage and remember than a numbered ACL. Let's take an example. You check the configuration of a router and find the following ACLs. To figure out what these ACLs are doing, you have to check the entries of each ACL. Now, suppose you read the configuration of another router and find the following ACLs. By looking at these ACLs, you can get an idea of what each ACL is doing. For example, by looking at the name blocking students, you can guess that this ACL would be blocking traffic from the student segment. By using a descriptive name, such as block external users, a network administrator can easily determine the purpose of the ACL. This feature is especially helpful in large networks, where a router may have multiple ACLs with hundreds of statements. Advanced Sequence Editing ACLs Advanced sequence editing is a new feature. Before this feature, editing or updating ACL entries was not possible. To edit an ACL entry, you had to recreate the entire ACL. This feature allows an administrator to change, update, or delete a single entry from an ACL. This feature was added later to Cisco iOS. All new iOS versions include this feature. If the iOS includes this feature, you can use this feature to edit both types of ACL. That's all for this video. This video is the fourth video of the video tutorial series Cisco Access Lists Explained with Examples. In this video, we learn the types of ACLs. In the next video, we will learn about the wildcard mask. Thanks for watching this video.